Frank J. Avella with Awards Daily. I am happy to have Jody Comer here to discuss her deeply affecting new film, The End We Start From. Welcome, Jody. Thank you very much. Jody, my God, first of all, um, it's a beautiful film and a beautiful performance. So congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's a joy to be a part of. Um, you're on screen for most of the running time and, and mm. it's a pretty intense film. Can you tell me about the demands it took on you as an actor? Yeah, well, I, I think that the biggest demand uh, as an actor in this production was the fact that um, apart from maybe like the first two minutes of the film, um, you know, my character, who we call woman, is kind of present on screen with a baby in every scene um which <laughs> i'm sure you've heard from you know various people can come with its own challenges but also can provide such kind of um beautiful spontaneity and honest moments on screen so i on screen so i think that was probably the biggest challenge i think another thing for me was um not being a mother myself um really really wanted to make sure that um mothers who watch this film see a truthful depiction of what it can be like you know whether that be through the birthing experience or you know those first months of trying to figure out um uh, your place in the world how you've changed your relationship with this with this new being that is yours and you hold the responsibility of um so that was something i worked really close with with mahalia bello our director um who is a mother and actually was just so brilliant and in her direction and um, kind of um, really educating me on the kind of nuances, whether that be how you communicate with a child, you know, because I think sometimes I kind of have it because I'm not around children a lot. I think I probably have a tendency to come off as quite patronizing, but you know, when you speak to a child, like they're a child and they look at you like, why are you speaking to me like that? <laughs> Um, you know, and and throughout the film, woman is alone with Zeb and he's her kind of the only person who she can kind of confide in. And so she ends she has very kind of mundane conversations that she would have with a friend or, you know, she kind of speaks to him like he understands every word that she says. And I think that's a nuance that is very true to mothers, but it's not necessarily your first instinct if you haven't experienced it yourself. I I loved it because it was it was um literally trying to survive motherhood with mm. also trying to survive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think actually what you know is is simultaneously the challenge but also her saving grace is that uh, Zeb is experiencing the world for the first time. You know everything is so new and 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 at times exciting and everything think because of that she is experiencing experiencing that through him which can provide relief in kind of really dark moments you know Mahalia um was speaking about the trust that you both had with one another mm. can you uh, elaborate a little from your perspective yeah I, I mean I think for me you know a huge draw to doing this was was Mahalia being at the helm of it I, I'd seen a film of hers called Ellen on Channel 4 many years ago um, when I was young. And I remember being so jealous. I remember it was Jess, Jessie Barden was in it. And I remember being so jealous of her. And I just thought I'd love to do something like this, you know, because uh, uh, for May's talent and her style. And it was visually so beautiful. Um, so when the email come through with Mahalia's name on it, I was like, oh, wow. You know, here's that. Here's that opportunity. Um so it was her vision why I joined, why I joined, you know, I knew how stripped back and, um, and like supernatural she wanted to go with it, you know, which can be extremely exposing as an actor sometimes. And I was really hungry for that. Um, you know, and I was also on this project as a exec producer, which, um, you know, you're much more kind of heavily involved, included in the kind of creative conversations, the post-production conversations. Um, and that was really kind of eye-opening and, and insightful. Um, and I just wanted to support her 
um, as much as I possibly could in making sure that in the post process, she was being allowed the space to make the film that she wanted to create. You know, do you know what I mean? It was I just do. kind of, yeah, it was just kind of making sure that I was there for that really. Um, and she has an incredible sensitivity that I think you really feel within the film and the choices that she's made. Yeah, I, I think it, it's so interesting and, and pretty perspicacious how the men can't cope and it's the women mm. who are the the true survivors. Mm. Well, I think you see a really, that's the nuance, isn't it? That kind of fragility that men can also feel, which I think Joel played so beautifully. Um, and it, 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 you know, it, it makes you wonder, you know, how maybe would she have coped differently if she didn't have Zeb, you know, because she's, you know, she's, you know, tied to this child who is almost kind of the driving force that's pulling her through because she has no other choice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I love the strength that you see within the women, especially within, you know, Catherine Waterson's character of, oh, like she just brings such an energy and kind of vitality to the piece. Well, yeah. And I'd almost argue that you had better chemistry with, I mean, you had great chemistry with Joel, don't get me wrong, but with mm. her, just in terms of the closeness <laughs> and how you guys were helping each other, it was off the charts. Oh, thank you. Well, I think, I, I mean, we have such a um, a love for one another, you know, we just, it was funny because we started filming and Catherine hadn't been cast yet. And even on the page within Alice's writing, it was also very, it was always very evident that whoever was playing O w was going to have to, that role needed to come in and really switch things off. Mm -hmm. So we were so excited when we got Car uh, Catherine and then when she arrived on set, like that is exactly what happened. You know, she has such a, um, such a huge curiosity and real spontaneity to the way that she works. And we just got on very well as, you know, as, as friends, um, which I think then just um, created this very natural, um, beautiful dynamic on set. You know, there's a lot. There's a there was a quite a few moments between us that were improvised, actually, and I think that came from um, the relationship that we'd kind of developed. Oh, how nice! Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, I, I've been seeing a lot of films lately depicting humanity. I mean, honest depictions, but really nihilistic mm -hmm. and barbaric. And I feel this film has these wonderful elements of hope in all the brutality and despair mm. you need it <laughs> <laughs> right but that's what we all reach to right is where we're constant i feel like we are constantly hoping you know um yeah. and i think it was really important that you kind of get that you get both sides of the coin because i think sometimes and this is also what may was great at was i would often find myself on set and and you would, you know, we, I think we tend to think if I was in this situation, I would be my, beside myself. I wouldn't be able to do this. I would be crying. I would be this. And, and actually sometimes we meet um, kind of adversity or uh, uh, surprising circumstances with humor because that's how we, that's how we have to deal with it in that moment. Or, you know, it's not always the kind of um, expected, you know? Yeah. So um and May was brilliant at that. And she was very, very clear in that, you know, woman doesn't have a lot of time to process what a lot of what she's going through. Um, a lot of it is kind of buried and then kind of comes to the service surface later on. Um, but yeah, I think those moments of um, kind of relief, um, like you said, feel very, very human because it's sometimes how we how we deal with things. Yeah, and in addition, you know, so many of these, whatever moniker you want to put on it, semi-apocalyptic films, you mm -hmm. know, they usually otherworldly and surreal. This was so grounded in realism, and it places us there. And we're, you know, along with the journey, like, what what would we do? Yeah, well, I think that's also the part. I'd be curious. I haven't asked people this question yet, but, you know, because nobody, uh, and in Megan Hunter's book, um, nobody has a name. And and I do wonder if that is something that people are 
conscious of when they're watching or if it's an afterthought because I do think there is something within that that allows people to attach themselves in a different way potentially yeah um you know as well as film and art naturally just allowing you to look inward and kind of question question your yourself well you know along the same in the same area I I was lucky enough to be at the very last performance of uh, Prima Facie. It's very hard for me to say Prima Facie. I'm Italian, and for us, it's Prima Facie. Was, so. <laughs> you do Prima Facie. Let's do that. Um, you do you. I was at the very last performance on Broadway, uh, which was oh, no way. astonishing. Thank you for coming, Frank. Oh, Thank my God. Thank you for your gift, because y anyone who has been sexually abused um mm -hmm. for us it was such an emotional experience but also a cathartic one and i, I want to thank mm -hmm. you and i want to ask you how the heck did you go through that eight performances a week <laughs> oh well thank you so much for sharing that um that's really moved me um i love it it was it was the most unique uh the most life affirming experience i've ever had um um it, it felt like such a conversation between myself the team and the audience every night you know that 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 feeling that you felt was so palpable and so um ever present like i remember us being so struck by it on the first preview um, you know, as we were speaking about this statistic and then we were met with that, those numbers within one room and just hearing the reactions and like you said, the release and the, it was like the audience were giving each other a unspoken permission to just feel. Um, and I'm not sure I'll ever experience anything like that again. I hope I do because it was just like, I, I don't have the descriptive words to describe it, but that drove me every night. And um, also the challenge of it, you know, like I, I started that process thinking I, I think I always must have believed I could in some capacity. Otherwise I don't think I would have said yes. Because mm. um, that's very dangerous. <laughs> it's quite dangerous, but um. I, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I really want to, I really want to try, you know, and um, it's interesting when you're, <clears throat> pardon me, when you're up al alone on stage like that, you have to rely on yourself for a lot of things and that just kind of mental <laughs> kind of obstacle course, like, you know, there's so much that you can have to think of, but then have to push to one side. There were so many, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, amazing reasons um as to how I did but um and an incredible team you know just feeling so held we all really held each other on that on that project I would have think I would think that would have to be the case for yeah something like that absolutely yeah yeah did you um like and even with woman can you separate can you turn off and go home or do they kind of come with you no, I think, uh, I mean, my family would probably say different. Um, it's funny, they usually notice things m quicker than I do. But I think with theatre, it was a lot harder purely because of the kind of physical aspect of it. Um, with, with with kind of film and television, I think it is a, a little bit easier. Um, and with, with playing woman, I'd, um, I w I'd only had about four weeks from doing the the run in London so I I don't think I was fully aware <laughs> I think I was still in kind of a little bit of a head spin when I when I started shooting the end we start from um but yeah and it's also something like I have to say the kind of emotional aspect of it is also something I think really sits in my subconscious you know I find it hard to kind of articulate because I think sometimes it's it's not something I'm totally aware of um but yeah. Mm. Well, I um I have to ask about the bike riders because I was so yes. looking forward to it. And I know, I know the right? teasing. <laughs> like, come on. And come I know on. we're getting it in 2024. Thank thank the yeah. gods. Um, but I, I was 
curious. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've seen it, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Can, can you can you tell me a little bit about what your feelings are about it without obviously giving anything away? Yeah, I'm so excited for people to see it. I uh, Jeff Nichols, the director, very kindly when I was in on Broadway, he put it on at a um, a cinema for me to go and watch on my own. And I remember sitting in the middle of this this cinema and and watching the movie. And I came out with such a spring in my step. Like it's, you know, it's about a, a 1960s motorcycle group in Chicago. Um, it's so cool, so rich in characters. Like it's a huge ensemble piece. And I think what is so beautiful, beautiful about the film is that you spend such a brilliant amount of time with each individual character there character by the end of the film you care so deeply about where each of them ends up um I play an, an incredible woman called Kathy I should also say that the, the film is based on a book of photographs by a photographer called Danny Lyons um so a lot of these characters are based on real people um and I was very fortunate to have um like 30 minutes of audio of Kathy of Kathy um and kind of several photographs so for me, I've never really had that luxury before. And um, she is a brilliant storyteller. She narrates the film. And uh, so for me, it was the first time I was able to go, OK, uh, this woman is quite particular. Her voice is very particular. And I really want to try and get um, as close to that as I possibly can. So that's where the kind of challenge lied within that. But I think people are going to love it. Incredible mm. cast. I mean, incredible cast you have austin butler tom hardy boyd holbrook uh to name a damon harryman to name a few like this is just coming off the top of my head but it's um yeah brilliant cast i can't wait i could speak to you all day but um i know I it's such a pleasure likewise i i will ask a final question it's about um in inspiration uh are, are mm. there any actors out there that you feel that are, mm. because when i when i look at your your body of work and it's quite a body of work and please cre keep crisscrossing mediums the way you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. uh, it, it reminds me of a young Jane Fonda. So I was. Wow. <laughs> geez. That's a big one. <laughs> oh my God. The dream. Um, you know who I'm really inspired by at the moment is um, Andrew Scott. Talk about somebody who does all the mediums. Um, I just watched All of Us Strangers. I mean, and I loved him before anyway, but I mean, that film ruined me and his performance in particular. Um, I just think he's so smart um, and is always um, kind of really bearing himself in the work that he does. And I have huge respect for that. Um, so I'd probably say at the minute, Andrew Scott, yeah. You know, when you watch that performance, I just saw it again a second time a, a last week. Oh, when gosh. you watch it again, knowing what you know, right? his performance is even more astonishing. God, I think I need it. It's, my eyes are watering even thinking about watching it again. Like it was it was such an experience watching that that film i was so glad to be at the back row of the theater mm. so that i could just like, <laughs> i could just go through the motions without anyone seeing me um but yeah no i'm definitely i mean i'm definitely going to rewatch it all uh, right well it's mm. it's been an absolute pleasure um thank you jody you too, for friend. taking the time and i can't hopefully we'll speak again when the bike riders come yes definitely definitely oh. we'll make that happen Fantastic. Have a great Bye, day friend. and have a great season. You too. Bye. Thank you. You too. Bye.